but I am in a great mood today. How about you? How you doing? What up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I want to test out all the new makeup that has just come in this week. I want to slap it onto my face, give you my first impressions, just give you a nice chatty type of tutorial video, a little bit of old school, a little bit of new school, just keeping it light and casual and fun, makeup loving and all. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesday and Sunday's videos. And now let's get to this video and let's see what my final face will look like at the end and which products I'm going to like and which ones are not gonna work for me. Let's hit it. Oh my God, did I have like three cups of coffee today? Where's all this energy coming from? Maybe it's a good week with a good outcome. <laughs> All right, let's start with the primer. So today I have a couple of things that I wanna test out. I just got this uh, Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer Serum. Definitely looks very luxurious. I'm liking this package. And this is basically from their lip injection line. You guys know the Lip Injection Extreme, then they created the Lip Injection Glosses. I'm also gonna be testing these out. And with that PR package came this primer. So I thought, why not test it out today? I also have this uh, Physician's Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Serum. This looks like liquid gold in a jar. It's so, so pretty. So I'm also going to test this out, but I'm not going to use them on the same areas. This I'm going to use just on my forehead and this I'm going to use on the rest of my face. I feel like they're both serum-like and I don't want to mix them. How you guys feeling this week? Has it been a long one for you too? I mean, listen, I've been glued to the news, but also taking breaks from the news because the news can be a little draining, but don't worry, I'm not gonna get political in this video. I'm just letting you know that this week has been long. Also, my brother and sister are visiting for the week. They're actually having virtual school right here in the next door room. All right, so this Too Faced Plump and Prime definitely has a bit of a scent. I'm gonna try to spread it out with my other hand so not to contaminate it with the other serum. What are the ingredients? Mmm, shake me baby to activate the miracle ingredients. I did not do that. Oh, mm. I'm gonna pop up the list of ingredients here. But so far this is feeling very, very luxurious. There's a little bit of stickiness with it. Of course I'm gonna test it out some more on my spare time and I'll let you know if I like it. Or you'll know if it makes it to my faves X fails. All right, next for my foundation, I'm gonna use this Orsay Cosmetics $89 Hyaluronic Serum Foundation. This one is so pricey, but it is really good. It's formulated especially for Asian skin tones and skin concerns. I talked about it in my previous faves X fails video. This was a hit. So because this foundation is also like a foundation serum hybrid, I want to be careful and not apply too many things underneath it. It didn't seem to work with the Pacifica primer. Hopefully it'll work with these two serums that I just applied. I'm actually going to use my brush to spread it across my face. I think my skin is finally healing, so I don't need a super heavy layer. I mean, look how pretty that finishes. It's just so, so natural. All right. It seems to be agreeing with the Too Faced Serum primer. My forehead, although typically very clean and clear, this week I had some major bumps and breakouts, specifically in the forehead area. So here's where I'm really concentrating at coverage, making sure that all those scars and spots are nicely covered. Man, I wish this foundation wasn't $89. The good thing about it is that you can purchase a small size before you can commit to an $89 purchase, but still, $89 is a lot for a very small unknown brand. I got this Quick Conceal Concealer from the Lip Bar. I've tested it out in a shade that wasn't my shade before, and the coverage looked really, really promising, so I finally got my hands on what looks like my shade. So let me show you how amazing this is. Woo. Very, 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 very pigmented, but it also has this nice sticky consistency. So what I'm gonna do is blend it out with my Rare Beauty concealer brush. I love this brush. I've recommended it in many of my other videos. So now I'm using shade two, Honey, for my under eye and around my nose. I would say this is a concealer that is close to my skin tone, but it's not lighter, so it's not going to brighten my under eye. But the shade one was just so white that it didn't really work for me at all. So far so good though. I feel like that looks very, very natural. Great for every day. I'm actually also gonna use this to conceal some of these breakouts. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, this concealer is really, really impressive. I wish there was a shade between one and two, maybe a 1.5, that would be great. Something that could actually brighten without making me look completely insane. But just something, 
brighter than the two. Although for concealing imperfections, this is like the perfect shade match for me. Whew. Gonna reach for this Orsay Cosmetics setting powder. It's called Come Closer Setting Powder. Looks like it's a big jar, but when you open it, mm, you realize it's just a cap that's big. But the cool thing about the cap is that it has this inverted dome shape where you can release the powder and then swirl it around. Plus it has that scroll wheel. And the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna set my under eye. This is a translucent powder, but it does have a lighter tint. So if I layer that over that yellower concealer, it brightens it a bit. So that is what I'm going for, a bit of brightening, and then a much lighter layer across my forehead and the rest of my face. Not bad at all. Coverage is looking very camera friendly. Powder's $42. Could be better, but I'm not really gonna complain. At least it's not $90. All right, for my brows, I have a new product that I'm so excited to test out. This is a K-Beauty brand, and basically it's a brow tattoo marker that's supposed to last on your brows for, I don't know how long, maybe 24 hours, maybe seven days, I'm not really sure. I got this one off of Yes Style. I'm such a huge fan of Korean or Japanese brow tattoo markers. They're just so good, and so I'm hoping that this one is it. What you're supposed to do here is just quite literally draw on your shape. You're probably not supposed to do that over brow gel because your brows are already set, but you know, I don't really care. I mean, it's definitely a little dramatic, but I'm okay with that. Let's see if maybe perhaps I can brush out some of that product. Nope. I don't think I can because the brows are already laminated, so it's just gonna stay there, just like this. These are some serious looking brows, like brutal brows, like, oh, oh girl. Okay, I really hope this product works out. I hope that it sets and I hope it lasts for longer than 24 hours because then it gives just the prettiest tint. And if you already have fuller brows like I do, then something like this can come in really handy. You honestly don't need to do your brows for days. I have a new primer to test out for the eyeshadow. So it's Bare Minerals Primetime Eyelid Primer. Basse de Maquillage. Maquillage meaning makeup in French and also in many other languages. No, it's not my last name. Felt like an Urban Decay primer, honestly, not too bad. I do wanna mention this really funny discrepancy. So I have this Lime Crime Greatest Hits Bangers palette, and I also have this ColourPop Baroque palette. The packaging looks very, very similar. It looks like it's the same collection. However, it's not. They released at the same time, so this made me just a little perplexed. However, when you open up these palettes, they do look very, very different. This is what the Lime Crime Greatest Bangers looks like. A mixture of some warm tones, some cool tones, some shimmery, whimsical shades, and the Baroque palette is definitely a moodier, cooler story, which personally speaking, I gravitate to Towards more. I feel like it would just look better with my bluer look today. I'm not ruling out the Lime Crime palette. I will still dip into it. I'm really curious. I also have this Lorac or Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition. Kind of like another Lorac palette that we've seen many times before. I don't really see how different this is from any of their other palettes, but it does look like a very nice neutral palette, leading both warm and cool and neutral. So probably something that's great for every day. I also have the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. Now this one is a super cool palette. Look at this. It's just filled with grayish taupes and with mauvey nudes. There's some silvery shades in here. A lot of colors that remind me of winter. And last but not least, we have the Physicians Formula, the Gold Vault palette. This one is so stunning. When I saw this for the first time while I was doing my Insta story unboxings, I was mesmerized by these gold bars. Like this is just a gold statement piece, isn't it? And not only are these 10 eyeshadows gold, this little mascara is gold AF too. Of course, I feel like a gold mascara would look really creepy like all over your lashes, but I think on the tips of the lashes, it could actually potentially look very cool, like a frosted mascara look. So I'm definitely gonna try that out today, unless I go the cool direction. Oh man, so many decisions to make. I also have the Fenty Beauty Holidays palette, this little one, which is okay. It's nothing too particularly exciting. I think I'm gonna start with the Stone Cold Fox. I'm gonna pick up a Trend Mood brush, Sigma X Trend Mood E35. I'm gonna dip into not the coolest shade ever, this one right here called 
quarry days. It's just a neutral beige. And let's see. Oh, shall we zoom in? Yes, let's do it. Hit us with that zoom, Lee. You're seeing all those sleepless nights on my face right now. Mm. Let's do it, baby. I'm gonna load it onto that outer corner. Ooh, pigmentation, honey. She's speaking. Primer's not bad. I feel like it's uh, giving me a very, very even eye base. It's not too sticky and it's not too matte either, but I can definitely tell that it's preventing my oils from seeping through. So that's great. All right, Cory Days. I like you. I'm gonna try to use at least one eyeshadow from each of these five palettes. Right now I'm on eyeshadow number one from the Stone Cold Fox. Such a weird name, Stone Cold Fox. Feels like one of those boomer sayings, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm hanging out with my brother and sister now. Calling everybody boomers, calling people Gen Xers, millennials, Gen Zs, Xennials. How many Xennials watching this video? How many true millennials like me? Do we have any Gen Xers in the house? Boomers? Comment below. I wanna know. And you too, Gen Zs. Let your voice be heard. Anyway, Stone Cold Fox, eyeshadow number one. Pretty promising, I like it. Laura Lee Los Angeles brush, L16. And let's go for this shade right here, Cold Classic. Love these names. Love a good cult classic too. Last night, me and my brother and sister watched Nightmare Before Christmas and it was so good. The art just spoke to me. And it's the perfect movie to watch right now, right after Halloween and before Christmas. Really does get you in the spirit. So with this shade, I'm just um, carving out a higher crease and just creating a bit more shadow and depth. I'm also gonna take the shade underneath the lashes and just sweep that inwards and then also connect to that outer portion. I didn't apply any primer to my lower lash line and I'm noticing that my lower lash line isn't gripping this color as well as my lid. So that tells me that the primer is working. Bit of fallout with this shade. Mm, not as good as I expected, but not bad. Definitely, definitely very workable. I'm gonna take the previous brush and just Blend that out a bit, just to soften. All right, I'm gonna close out that palette because I don't want it no more. Next up, how about this shade Dreamy? It looks pinky lavender. Something interesting about it. I'm gonna grab another Trend Mood Sigma brush, E25. Oh, there is some nice pigment to this one. I'm gonna pack this onto the lid, specifically onto the outer and middle portion. The pigment is definitely speaking for itself. It's clinging onto the primer. It's adhering really well. There's no blotchiness. That is really, really satisfying and promising. Actually gonna take a slightly smaller brush and apply that all the way in my inner corner. I mean, truly, I wasn't expecting it to be good. So now I want more of it now that I know that it's good. These types of colors I think are so unique. You don't come across these colors often, but they're so flattering. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna um, dip my finger into this shade called Beam. And it's kind of like the shimmery, glittery version of Dreamy. Just a little bit more lavender than pink. And also it has a duochrome factor. So it's lavender, but then it's also kind of shifty, greenish, pinkish. I'm gonna try to add that to the center. Oh, honey. That delivered effortlessly better than I expected. Wow, Lime Crime, who are you right now? I'll be honest, it's been a minute since I've received PR from Lime Crime. And since the last time they have switched ownerships, Doe Deer has stepped down as the CEO of Lime Crime and she offered the position to a person of color, which is really admirable and really the right thing to do. I appreciate that so much. So I don't know who was responsible for these colors or for these two shades, but I'm honestly intrigued. It's a beautiful shade. Ooh, I'm gonna keep this palette just for those two shades. I haven't even tried anything else, but those two shades, everything. All right, closing that out, because I got other palettes to test out and try. Let's go for ColourPop Baroque. All right, with this one here, I definitely want a little bit more darkness, a little bit more mood, and I feel like this is the mood that I'm looking for for this eye look. Let's go for this shade here called Secret, which is a matte, but it has a lot of these purple sparkles. Let's see if the sparkles actually show up on the skin. This is a Wayne Goss brush. Oh, the number has rubbed off, but it's one of my favorite brushes and I will link it down below because everyone always asks and it's one of those make a difference type of brushes because it's just so fine, but so precise. Adding that to the outer corner just to kind of darken it, but also add a bit more of that gray mood and also the sparkle like that. And then I'm gonna blend it out some more. 
a bit of fallout with the sparkle here but it's not sticking so that's good i also kind of really like this shade here called noble it's like a very shimmery shifty brownie purple shade and i just want it right here i just think that it belongs right here in that little groove i don't know if it makes a difference but sometimes i always want to darken this little section that's not the very outer corner but right between the outer corner and the center that like three quarter mark i don't know if that made a difference but it makes me feel good okay closing out baroque now we're just left with two shadow palettes here so i'm gonna test out the Lorac one meraki pro palette artist edition they have a black so i'm gonna utilize the black I'm gonna grab a Sigma smudge brush, dip it into that black. I'm gonna use their provided mirror here. Ooh, was not expecting that. I'm gonna darken that outer portion. This black is really, really easy to use. Very dark and pigmented, not flaky. Also gonna kinda pull that out in a point. Also add a bit of black to the outer lower lash line. This is a promising black. All right, I'm gonna go back to that Wayne Gloss number no. five brush and use that to just very, very gently blend all of this out. That's what this brush is so good for, to blend out these really small areas. All right, and then with my clean brush method, just diffuse, 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 diffuse until oblivion. All right, thank you, Black. Let's see, there's also a nice cream shade in here that I wanna dip into. Well, there's a few cream shades that I wanna dip into, but this lightest one seems to be nice. I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner and also my brow bone. Yeah, I like it, not bad. Okay, and now finally for the gold vault. Unfortunately, I don't think none of these very yellow, very bronzy shades go with my look. So I'm gonna dip into the lightest shade here, which is kind of just like a flaky white. I'm gonna stamp a bit of that to the inner corner. That did it, just for a little bit of interest, just for a bit of a pop. And then also with the brush, I'm gonna pick up the same shade and add that to my brow arch. Just want a little bit of that golden sparkle, but I don't want it to be just um, an obvious swipe of gold, just a hint of sparkle. And now I feel like everything is working together very, very, very cohesively. I'm liking my look. All right, curling the lashes. For my mascara, I have Westmore Beauty to test out. I might have actually already worn it once, but I don't remember the outcome, so I gotta do it again. The Westmore family is like Hollywood makeup royalty. I believe they even invented liquid foundation. Well, basically, this is a family that's been in the makeup industry since forever ago. Their founders have worked on movies such as Gone with the Wind. They have created makeup looks for starlets like Marilyn Monroe, Greta Garbo, just to name a few. And right now they specialize in high quality body makeup so basically they took their on-camera experience of super waterproof super smudge proof and they made it attainable i don't know how good this mascara is but if it's anything like their body products then girl it may make it to my faves and fails i am so 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 excited i have a new liquid liner to test out house laboratories so they initially came out with their eyeliner, which is this right here, their original marker type liner. And just recently they came out with a micro fine tip. Look at this one, just like a super tiny one. And I feel like this might be perfect for my twiggies or for my inner corner. This is definitely a precision tip, that's for sure. Hmm, not bad. All right, let's see how that works in the inner corner. Pretty good and easy. I like that, not too much, just enough. All right, and I guess I'll just use the regular eyeliner for my top lash line. Connecting that. Should have probably lined my lid before doing my lashes, but oh well. Kind of like a very upturned wing, I like it. Oh yes, let's go for some highlighters. Z -z 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 I couldn't wait to speak about these and I couldn't wait to test these out on camera. I'm talking about Danessa Myricks, you guys. Danessa Myricks, say it with me. If you're not following Danessa Myricks Beauty on Instagram, you are missing out because this woman is so exceptional and so inspirational. Not only is she amazing as a human being, beautiful, super talented, she She's a phenomenal makeup artist, a published author, and also a photographer, you guys. Like her page is full of inspiration. And she also has her own makeup line. So she just sent me this massive PR package with her highlighters, with cream colors, for the lids, just like a bunch of her products. And I was really, really excited to test out the highlighters. There's basically a shade for everyone from the lightest to the deepest. These are liquid highlighters. And I feel like liquid highlighters are kind of like the thing right now. So today I'm gonna reach for this shade here called Luna. I'm going to pop just a smidge on the back of my hand. Cause you definitely don't need a lot, more than enough. 
just like such a great consistency. I'm going to add Luna to the tops of my cheekbones like that. Super sparkly, but black eyeshadow fallout right here that I need to take care of before I apply that Luna. This one is just so sparkly. So, so pretty. I'm gonna add some to my nose bridge, also to my Cupid's bow. Ah, oh, this would look so amazing on the body as well, which is why you get so much product. Next for my cheeks, I have these two colors from Milani. I think I wanna go for the darker one. Cheek Kiss is the name of the product. Nude Kiss is the name of the color. Also, this is very new. Feels very slippery, like a little too oily for my liking just off the bat, but let's see how it applies. Hopefully it won't disrupt or shift any of my makeup. Hmm, this is actually quite lovely. Perhaps I'm a little peachier than I was expecting, but definitely still very, very pretty and wearable. Not disrupting my makeup, working with my highlighter, promising. That one swipe I think was just enough for both cheeks and I got big cheeks, but I also don't want it to be super overpowering. I just want it to be a light little wash of color. And also I'm keeping it kind of in the back of my cheek. Nice. Next, let's grab a little heat spell from House Labs. This is their bronzer and highlighter duo. I have two in Desert and Dawn, and also I have Kindle and Ember. I kind of like the Kindle bronzer shade a little bit more than the other ones. That's what I'm gonna go for. Mmm, it's very pigmented. Not mad at it, not mad at it at all. I also feel like sometimes bronzer perfects your skin tone just because it gives you that sun-kissed look and it helps kind of blend everything together. Using whatever's remaining on the brush, just to kind of set that cheek cream from Milani. I'm also kind of just hugging it. Not applying it directly to the cheek cream, but just below. Okay, cute. Why is everything working for me today? There's no controversy. Perhaps that's a good thing though. We've had enough controversies for the week. Perhaps it's good that we're keeping it very positive today. All right, for the lips, I've got a new Dose of Colors pencil. This one is called Shyla Lip Liner. I already actually kind of just tested it out earlier before I started the video. So I'm just gonna complete my lip line. Looks like a nudie brown on me. Just like super, super, super creamy. Okay, and then for the lips, well, we've got the lip injection glosses. None of which I think actually work with my eye makeup. Maybe this one, but I think it's a little too rosy. <laughs> I'm gonna reach for my favorite lip gloss formula, you guys. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you'll probably guess that my favorite lip gloss formula is actually from Artist Couture. Yes, Mac Daddy. And by the way, they just added new shades to the collection. Originally, they had Uncensored 2.0, which is like my ultimate favorite nude, and also Shameless, which is like a rosier nude. And now they have three more shades. Striptease, which is like a pinky nude, Thirst Trap, which is like a pale peachy nude, and also an X-rated, which is like a warm nude, almost like a tan nude, I would say. I think Striptease is going to be the one, but because these lip glosses are very, very, very pigmented, I think it's gonna go really nicely with this Shyla lip liner. Let's see. Everything about this is just so satisfying. The wand is great. The little petal tip is so precise. The cooling peppermint feeling of the gloss is just so right. And that finish, that plastic vinyl in the best sense of the word, it's so current, you guys. I love, love, love this gloss and I'm so excited that there's new shades. Ooh. And I think that actually brings us to the end of the video and to my final look. Using all of my new first impressions, products that just came in this week in my PR, I think I was actually able to create a pretty wearable, whimsical, Fun little look, a bit sophisticated, a bit young, a bit playful. I'm liking the outcome a lot. Please rate this look on a scale of one to 10. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you wanna see next. I am waiting on a couple of things that I definitely wanna review for you. But for now, I will leave you with this makeup look. I hope you guys like it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, for subscribing. I am zooming on out so that you can check out my next two videos, one that you may like and also my latest video. I love you guys. What?